Hello, I'm Mrs Dodd and I'm one of the engineering design teachers here at St Paul's Catholic School. I'd like to give you a general overview of the Cambridge National Engineering Design Level 1-2 course and how the final assessments are structured. The Engineering Design Certificate is a fantastic introduction to this field with a wide range of future education and employment opportunities available locally, nationally and globally. Many of the St Paul students who have previously been successful on this course have progressed into engineering and design related careers and currently several local companies support our courses to encourage students to continue with engineering studies, especially our female students. There are three units of work which carry 40%, 30% and 30% of the marks respectively for the final grade. The first unit worth 40% is the R038, a formal public examination. For the remaining two coursework units, students showcase a combination of their design and technical knowledge together with designing and practical skills. Their evidence is submitted as two separate PowerPoint presentations. Careful time management must be applied. Students are required to submit work on a regular basis to ensure that they meet interim deadlines for work completion. So inter independent learning must be completed every week. The first unit, the R038, which is a one hour, 15 minute examination. This exam is sat as a public exam in January and may be repeated in June, depending on the completed coursework progress and standard. Fundamentally, the R038 underpins the whole course with a broad knowledge of the design process and how it's applied to manufacturing. So a thorough understanding of the topics, regular revision, exam practice is essential for success. The structure of the exam questions vary from simple technical recall, sh short statements to longer written responses where spelling, punctuation and grammar is also assessed. Critically, this knowledge needs to be applied to the other two units. The R039 unit is submitted as a PowerPoint. The main focus of this is students developing their visual communication skills. So a broad range of drawing skills and techniques must be demonstrated, ranging from hand-drawn sketches to highly accurate engineering drawings. This is followed with both 2D CAD, computer-aided design working drawings, and sophisticated 3D CAD images. All of the IT skills developed during these particular units are highly transferable, not only across the school curriculum, but they're also applicable for future opportunities for sixth form and beyond. Students develop the critical analysis, problem solving, and deep thinking skills that are required to manage and organize these units of work. The R040 unit is submitted as a PowerPoint as well. The initial focus of this is about how design and production are intertwined. Students focus on one product using a variety of research and evaluation methods, assessing the strengths and the weaknesses, then providing detailed summaries of their findings with their personal critical opinions and conclusions. This is followed with a detailed product disassembly where pupils demonstrate safe working practices in the workshop, understanding and application of the manufacturing processes and design sustainability are key to success here, as they must fully analyse the individual components of their chosen product once they have disassembled it. Students will need to demonstrate their capabilities in organising their time to complete the production of a physical design prototype, so modelling skills. Safe working practices in the workshop should be highly evident throughout this unit of work. Photographs, video clips and GIFs are great ways for students to show their evidence of this. The R040 has also developed students' visual communication skills. A broad range of CAD skills and techniques must be demonstrated through the completion of a detailed virtual model with animation. These slides show examples of some of the approach to the R039. So it should be a relatively concise 
PowerPoint presentation with a tremendous amount of detailed work on each slide. Generally, students submit approximately 15 to 20 slides of work. To comply with copyright restrictions and privacy laws, we have redacted some images and media in this presentation. Again, here are some examples of an R040 coursework with exemplar work. And again, the students generally submit approximately 15 to 20 slides of work. <coughs> 